Hi, I'm Cookie, and I knew you would come. I dreamt it. Nobody wanted to play with you, huh? It's like grammar school all over again. And today's wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... Cookie Masterson's Closet. Featuring random items from a sad and meaningless life. Pick the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to win a fabulous prize and big cash. <laughs> All right, let's make history. Get ready, time to crash in. One. To get things rolling, let's get shark tanked. What would not go into a Mark Cuban Cuban sandwich? A million dollars worth of ham, a million dollars worth of Swiss cheese, a million dollars worth of sauerkraut, or... This answer is not kosher. Ah! Oh, you're gonna kick yourself. A Cuban sandwich includes, among other things, ham, Swiss cheese, and mustard, but not sauerkraut. Honestly, though, I prefer a Donald Trump sandwich. It's similar to a Cuban, except it's topped with a giant mess of onion strings. Take a good look at the rich and the horse powerful. Not counting umpires, how would you describe a game of regulation polo in terms of total horsepower? 8 horsepower, 10 horsepower, 16 horsepower, or 110 horsepower? Uh-oh. One right answer coming up. A regulation polo team has four players, each riding a horse. When both teams are on the field, that's eight total horses, or in terms of horsepower, eight HP. I think every sport should be played while riding horses. Basketball on horseback, tennis on horseback, horse racing on horseback. That's where a jockey is riding a horse that is riding another horse. And now... Jumpin' Jack Hash, and this dis or dat is open 24 hours. I'm gonna read off seven things, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a way to order your hash browns at the restaurant chain Waffle House, or a song by the Rolling Stones. If it's Waffle House hash browns, press the left arrow. If it's the Rolling Stones, press the right arrow. Okay, we're off. Smothered, covered, shattered, all the way, happy, country, brown sugar, not bad, but you didn't clean your plate. The Rolling Stones only ever order their hash browns one way, with extra hash. May I introduce... It takes tattoo to tango. It's the put the choices into order then buzz in and see if you are right. Question. And as usual, give me a correct answer and I'll reward you with an extra thousand dollars. Put these tattoos in order of where they appear on the person's body from highest to lowest. Mike Tyson's Maori tattoo, Justin Bieber's Jesus figure tattoo, Lizbeth Salander's dragon tattoo. Mike Tyson, Justin Bieber, Lizbeth Salander, Justin Bieber, Lizbeth Salander, Mike Tyson. Now this is gonna hurt a lot. Now pay attention. Mike Tyson's Maori tattoo is on his face, Lizbeth Salander's dragon tattoo is across her back, and Justin Bieber's tattoo of the figure of Jesus is on his calf. I've thought about getting a tattoo, but my doctor recommends I let several of my other infections heal first. My and on its way, coral doesn't count. Which island is still holding its V-card? Nerdy Cyprus, Geeky St. Thomas, Dweeby Trinidad, or Sweaty New Guinea? Well, I've seen worse. Let me show you something. Having your V-card is a way of saying you're a virgin. None of the other islands here are part of the U.S. or British Virgin Islands, but St. Thomas is a U.S. Virgin Island. At least you know it doesn't have any STDs, which is a lot more than I can say for the Caymans. 
That'll bring an end to our first round. And you haven't even broken a sweat. Don't forget, all the questions in round two are worth double. And lest you forget, the wrong answer of the game is still there for the taking. Let's keep going. Coming up next, your Heston, my patience. If instead of a planet of the apes, Charlton Heston crash landed on a planet of the apiaries, what might you hear him exclaim while being taken prisoner? Get your stinking feathers off me, you damn dirty parrot! Get your stinking claws! Let this answer go! Allow me. An apiary is a place where colonies of bees are kept for the production of honey. Yes, little known fact, honey is not actually made by bears. Stupid lying bear-shaped honey containers. You gotta be careful when gathering that honey, though, because bees don't just give it up. You have to pry it from their cold, dead mandibles. Question 7! Get up and shake your monkey bang! Bucker up for better homes and graveyards. Suppose the killer from Edgar Allan Poe's The Telltale Heart appeared on an episode of HGTV's House Hunters. Considering where he hid the body of his victim, what feature would he look for in a house? Lots of extra closets? Want to see the answer? The killer in The Telltale Heart hid his victim's body under the floorboards, so he'd want to be able to remove those things without too much hassle. Personally, though, I think he should have gone with that two-bedroom colonial with the granite kitchen countertops. Sure, there's not a lot of space for hiding murdered bodies, but the neighborhood has such great schools. You're alone in the dark here. But you won't be alone for much longer because you've just won... A girlfriend mop from my closet. Come out of the closet with a hot babe. This wrong answer of the game has earned you a sweet 8,000 clams. Well done. How about, bring the champagne? What do an NFL football game and a wine bottle have in common? They both have cork, they both have a tackle, they both have a sack, or they both have a punt. Ah yes, the old cork play! Very popular in some imaginary version of football that doesn't exist. This would've worked. In American football, one team can kick the ball to the other via a punt, which is also the name of the large indentation on the bottom of a wine bottle. And if you're a fan of football, you simply must go to California. It's home to some of the most verdant football fields in the world. Next, kiss the cookie. I'm really excited because today I get to test my brand new fortune cookie opener 3000. I ordered it from the Sky Mall catalog. I just started up and, uh... I gotta be more careful. I almost cut my fortune up. <clears throat> Try not to let things get under your skin. Alright, so then what skin condition should I make sure not to contract? Eczema, psoriasis, rosacea, or scabies? Scabies is a skin condition caused by tiny mites that burrow under your skin. I definitely don't want that. I've got enough trouble with this mouse that somehow got trapped under my skin. Ah, oh, I hate it when he runs up my back. Try this on for size. A gibberish question? How would I spell this question backwards? Straw cab sith noit sook leps I do a wa straw cab noit sick sit lems I do a wa straw cab Yep, that's the question spelled backwards. I always find it so folksy and funny when somebody says you've got a bass ackwards instead of bass ackwards. Nah, I mean I mean bass ackwards. <sighs> no, I mean bass ackwards. Ah, oh, are you kidding me? Now I can't say it right. Bass ackwards. Okay, ass backwards. Thank you.
step right- I'm sorry, was I talking too much? Fine, here's your clue. A probing film. You directed Aliens and what movie? Good luck. That's the game! Giving direction to aliens on set is hard, trust me. I'm doing a staged adaptation of Predator, and the alien lead has been difficult to work with. No, 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 no! You're just saying the lines, Predator! I need you to feel them! You don't 